from the Technology Center on the campus of Herkimer County Community College. This is HCTV 99 News. A student-produced newscast covering HCCC and the community it serves. Hello, I'm Trevor Payne and welcome to 99 News here on HCTV Channel 99. During the semester, we're here every Thursday afternoon with a 5 o'clock full half-hour newscast produced by radio and television students enrolled at Herkimer Community College. Today's newscast will unfortunately be the final newscast of the semester. HCTV 99 News is a production of the advanced video production course offered here by HCCC. Are you an accept... or er, sorry. Are you an accepted on-campus student planning on attending Herkimer full-time for the fall 2010? If you have not yet signed up to take placement tests or register for classes, now would be the time to do so. On Wednesday, May 12th and Wednesday, May 19th, HCCC is holding more registration days on campus from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. For more information, please visit herkimer.edu backslash pt for details. You must sign up for one of these two days before attending. Are you an incoming student or just interested in what Herkimer has to offer but can't make the visit during the weekdays? Well, visit HCCC on one of their exclusive Saturday sessions. The Admissions and Financial Aid Office will be open from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Tours of the campus and on-campus housing will be available as well. For more information, please call 866-0300 extension 8278 or visit the website at www.herkimer.edu. Are you interested in attending HCCC in the fall 2010 semester, but have you still yet to apply? Well, you're in luck. On May 17th, Herkimer College will hold an instant admission day from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Students interested in going to HCCC will be able to apply and get admitted on the same day. You will also be able to register for your classes and take your own tour of the campus. Graduation is right around the corner for seniors here at Herkimer County Community College. The 42nd annual commencement will be held on Friday, May 21st, 2010 at 5 o'clock p.m. in the HCCC Gymnasium with a reception to follow. Students must report to the Technology Building no later than 4 p.m. so proper marching order can be arranged. This year's graduation will also be streamed live online for anyone to view. It gives the families out of state and international students the opportunity to watch their son or daughter graduate. You can view the commencement live at cnt.herkimer.edu. For more information, please visit www herkimer.edu backslash commencement. On June 21st, there is no better way to kick off the first day of summer than the 18th Annual Generals Golf Open Tournament. The tournament will be held Monday, June 21st at the Cedar Lake Club in Clayville, New York. The format is Captain and Crew Scramble with a 1 p.m. shotgun start. Registration and lunch, lunch will begin at noon. An awards ceremony and dinner will begin at 7 p.m. The fee is $100 per person, and corporate team's fees begin at $500, including a T sponsorship. This annual event supports student scholarships and academic excellence at Herkimer County Community College. Registrations are being taken now. To register or become a sponsor, please contact the HCCC Foundation Office at 866-0300, extension 8459. The registration deadline is June 1st. The HCCC Foundation will host its annual Independence Day festivities on July 1st at Herkimer County Community College. Each year has been a huge success with thousands of people showing up for the fireworks, which is the highlight of the evening. This event features great food, live entertainment, and many other types of vendors. So get your families and friends together and join us for an Independence Day celebration you'll never forget. The Amnesty Club at HCCC hosted Burmese monks who participated in the Oscar-nominated documentary titled Bruma VJ. Those same monks who participated in the club's amnesty walk. Our field reporter Justin Parkinson has more on the story. Justin? Justin Parkinson with HCTV 99 News. The Amnesty International Club recently hosted a showing of Burma VJ, an Academy Award nominated film documenting courageous young citizens of Burma insisting on keeping up the flow of news from their closed country. Burma VJ follows the September 2007 uprisings in the streets of Rangoon by the monks against the military regime. Filmed entirely on handheld cameras, the video journalists risked torture and life in prison to inform the world about their country. The Burmese monks returned to Herkimer County Community College campus last week 
for Amnesty International's first annual Walk for Human Rights. Nearly 100 people participated in the one-mile walk around the HCCC campus. The attendees of the walk also wrote letters, signed petitions, and made signs to raise awareness about worldwide human rights issues. Many people were seen holding signs of support for Aung San Suu Kyi, a Burmese opposition politician and general secretary of the National League for Democracy. There is a vast difference in the attitude of a man with a gun in his hand and that of one without a gun in his hand. When a man doesn't have a gun in his hand, or a woman for the matter, uh, he or she tries harder to use his or her mind. On Saturday, September 22, 2007, still under house arrest, Su Chi made a brief public appearance at the gate of her residence in Rangoon to accept the blessings of Buddhist monks who were marching in support of the human rights. Actions in America aren't just being done on a local level. Even former President George W. Bush acknowledged American support for Aung San Suu Kyi on March 11, 2008, a National Women's Day. America honors women like Aung San Suu Kyi of Burma. For 12 of the last 18 years, this extraordinary woman has been kept under house arrest by Burma's brutal military regime. Her only crime was to lead a political party that enjoys the overwhelming support of the Burmese people. The Amnesty International Club sponsored both the showings of Burma VJ and the Amnesty Walk here on campus last week. The club gets together for some great causes. They participated in a global write-a-thon this semester and even wrote a letter to the President, Barack Obama. The goal of Amnesty International is to offer the HCCC community the opportunity to learn about and act upon important human rights. We saw at the Burma VJ film, the monk spoke, and one of the questions from the audience was, what can we do? And he talked about, in addition to writing to their leaders, uh, he talked about the importance of uh, writing to our own leaders. And I appealed, so I composed a letter, I appealed to uh, President Obama. It's good to meet the monks, and it's a strong thing that we're doing. It makes me feel good, and I hope others people do it, because it makes them feel good, too. What we did was make copies of um, letters and we just got a bunch of people to come help us write out a bunch of letters from those copies and mailed them in to Burma. The idea is just to give uh, HCCC students the opportunity to reach for issues that are bigger than themselves. For more information on Aung San Suu Kyi and human rights causes, I recommend watching Burma VJ or you can visit www.amnestyusa.org. Also, the Amnesty Club is a great place to help with human rights efforts. The club meets once a week and sponsors a wide range of events throughout the semester. I'm Justin Parkinson with HCTV 99 News. Back to you, Trevor. Thanks, Justin, for that story. Well, don't change that dial. There's more news straight ahead after this break. During 99 News here on HCTV, I'm Trevor Pant, and Jay Ramos will be join us after the break. He's up next with your complete weather forecast. Stay with us. Up next, the weather outlook for Herkimer and the surrounding areas. Later, we'll hear your answers to our question of the week, right here on HCTV 99 News. Stay with us. <laughs> 